Hi, welcome back. We don't like to do big expose type videos on McLaren's. We like to give an advisory buyers guide to people and also help where they can make them better for them. But there has a, an issue cropped up, which we think is worthy of a separate type of video to basically alert people of a problem. Now we've written this up as an article on our website, which is link is somewhere in the system here. <coughs> but the important thing we thought was worthwhile actually making a note and making actually log on it just to make sure people are aware of it because sometimes YouTube goes further than their websites. The issue is down to a water ingress to the vehicle's power steering pump. Now, it applies to all models, but specifically we've seen it more on the older Super Series, so that's 12C, 650 and 675 LTs. Um, but it's the same water pump on the Sport Series, including up to including the 600 LT, and also onto the uh, Super Series 720s. Now, our gut feeling is it only applies to the older Super Series because we've had some information from the factory that what happened was a bit of an afterthought, but it's worthwhile noting. The reason why we're making a special video on it is because if in the event of a problem occurring, you will have a complete vehicle shutdown, i.e. nothing. It will literally completely shut down entirely and you're left there beached, which you're driving down a freeway or a motorway, not a good thing to happen. So <clears throat> what we're doing here is alerting people what to look for and also the idea being that they can avoid it happening to them, they're all well and good. Now, the issue is basically down to the fact that there is water ingressing into the vehicle's power steering pump. As it's part of the high-speed CAN bus system for the car, it means if you do get water ingress into it, you get electrical short, which means the whole CAN bus system shuts down. It's to recover a heart attack for a car um, by eating too many burgers, I guess, same theory of cholesterol, and this time it's water. Now, <clears throat> to show you what I mean, this is a power steering pump we have removed from a 12C. As you can see, it's fairly heavily corroded, okay? And what has happened is that water has obviously sat down on top of this uh, power steering pump, um, and then has got the increase inside where all the electrics are, and has ended up result with that, that you end up with water in the electrical system. Now, it's obviously quite bad news. Um, it's price made slightly worse, or significantly worse, but the fact that the power steering pump was exposed. When the car first came out of McLaren, had it exposed in the front of the compartment of the car. Um, nothing around it. But because it gave some noise, which power steering pumps tend to do, McLaren in its wisdom decided to put a jacket around it to make it less noisy. Makes some sense. The problem that you have is that this is the jacket that comes off it. Now I've tried not to drip power steering fluid everywhere, but as you can see, it's a bit crap. Now, over time, what happens is this jacket is made out of an open cell foam. So little plastic splits, water gets into it, and that means your power steering pump is sat literally in a pool of water. So eventually ingress into the seal, the seal breaks into the power steering pump, shorts it out. How's it get wet, wet you're wondering? This power steering pump, which sits behind the, inspe the, 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 the luggage inspection area in the front of the car, how is it getting wet? Well, it's pretty protected. It's not a sealed unit. Uh, water can get in from the road, but very unlikely. What we think is happening, and we're fairly sure is happening, it is actually coming from your washer jets. Now, directly above the power steering module and surrounded by its jacket is the actual pipes that lead to your washer jets on your windscreen wipers. Now, these rubber hoses are very prone to splitting. And what happens is that as you put your washer jets on, the water doesn't come out of the jets on the windscreen wipers as it should do. It comes out of the split pipe, which goes down the back of the scuttle in the front of the car and ends up sat on that jacket and sat on the power steering pump. Because the water has nowhere to go, it means it sits there, and every time you wash your windows, or rather you don't wash your windows, you end up soaking your power steering pump in water, which over a period of time causes corrosion, causes the issue. So, the good news about this is the fix is quite simple. All you do is replace the hose, or even cut, the, replace the split, and she just seal it back up. But it's very common. For example, we've had four 12 seasons this week. Every single one has a split hose to its washers, which means every single time you try and wash your windscreen, Water's going every past steering pump. So, a good thing to check, go wash your windows. Okay, wash your windows, and if you've got water coming out of your windscreen wipers going to your windscreen, jobs are good, no problem at all. If you have a bit of a dribble, now normally it affects prostate people, but now we're talking about windscreen wipers, then it has an issue. It means the water's going somewhere, and it's going all over your power steering pump. It's a reasonably straightforward fix to do, about an hour's worth of work, um, rather than either replace the hose or, or fix the split, but it's certainly worthwhile investigating if you can. Would it be a warranty issue? Probably not. Hoses tend to degrade over time. Is it something you can argue about with a dealer? Go right ahead. Um, certainly from the perspective of the potential risk of it going wrong is quite high, it's worthwhile noting. Okay? So, 
stop watching YouTube or take your phone outside, try and wash your windscreens on your McLaren. If it's all water going windscreen, it was good, I've wasted time. If there's water going over the floor, have a look. Get into your dealer, get it looked at, and solve yourself a problem, potentially a fatal one. Okay? Thanks for watching, hope this is useful. Talk to you soon. Cheers.